Hey, this is Lance from Langchain. Anthropic just released Claude 3.7. Now, this is a really exciting development from Anthropic because it's their first explicit reasoning model. And let me just show how to use it and then talk a little bit about how it works. So first, you're just going to install Langchain Anthropic. Make sure your API key is set. You're going to select Claude 3.7 latest as your model. Now, this is where things are a bit new. You can set max tokens for your response just like before. But you can also set this thinking parameter and a budget for thinking tokens. I'll talk more about this later. Pass in an input. Now the response is an AI message, just like normal. But what's new here is that it's actually a list. And in this output actually has two blocks. So one is a thinking block and the other is the response. Now what's interesting here is that Anthropic made the decision to actually expose the thinking to the user. So we can see Claude's full thinking process transparently in this thinking block, and then we can see the final answer provided. We can open Langsmith and see the overall latency, 20 seconds, as well as the full output with the thinking block and the text block. Now this model is also compatible with building agents. So I'll build a simple agent here with three arithmetic tools. We'll just use Langgraph Prebuilt for a classic React style tool calling agent. And we'll go ahead and run that by passing add three plus four. And we can see something pretty cool here. In the AI message, we can see this thinking block present. And this is actually very nice with tool use because it actually tells you it's thinking around when and why to use a specific tool. So you can see the user asking to add numbers. This is arithmetic. And I have access to the add function, which is suitable for this task. That's really cool because oftentimes you don't know why models are actually choosing to call tools. So it's great in this case to see that visibly. It chooses to call the tool. There's your tool call is normal. We get the tool message back. We get a response. So these thinking models are entirely compatible with building agents with tool calling as you'd expect. Now, I just want to talk about this a little bit more in general terms. So we have some prior videos discussing chat models versus reasoning models. In general, they're using two different scaling paradigms, chat models being next to prediction, reasoning models being RL on chain of thought, different reasoning types, system one versus system two. I'll just show a little bit below, often the way you instruct the model differs a bit for reasoning models versus chat models. And again, the interaction modes are a bit different, whereas chat models are typically strong for short form chat conversation, Reason models are better for longer running, reasoning heavy tasks. So just as with other reasoning models have been released, for example, from we saw from R1, we saw from OpenAI, Claude 3.7 is post-trained with reinforcement learning. Now what's neat is they do expose the reasoning traces to the user. What's also interesting is they give a lot of control over how long the model can think for. With O series models, there's qualitative reasoning tiers like medium and high. With Claude 3.7, you can explicitly instruct the model to use a particular thinking budget of tokens, with max tokens being the maximum number of tokens to generate before stopping, and the thinking budget being the number of tokens you allocate for the thinking process. Now, a few other interesting things about this model, it has an October 2024 knowledge cutoff, which is improvement over what we saw previously, and it allows up to 128,000 tokens output, which is potentially interesting for certain applications. Now they report strong performance on software engineering. So Sweebench verified, you can see it's a big jump over Claude 3.5, 49% versus 62%. And so overall, from looking at the performance here, you can see there was a very high emphasis placed on coding, which makes a lot of sense because Claude 3.5 Sonnet was already one of the strongest LLMs for coding, obviously very heavily used in tools like Cursor. And this appears to be a significant jump over 3.5 Sonnet. What's also kind of interesting is if you look at the pricing, so 3.5 Sonnet input tokens are $3 per million token, output are $15 per million token. 3.5 Sonnet is the same. Now it's worth noting the number of output tokens with 3.7 will be frequently larger because of thinking, but the pricing is the same. Now some tips for usage. Anthropic mentions use this on challenging STEM problems. Now this is kind of an interesting thing that they note. For complex tasks, consider over 16,000 tokens of thinking budget. Four to 8,000 is considered acceptable for simpler reasoning tasks. Now you'd have to kind of experiment with that given your particular needs to see what the right threshold is for you. But that's a nice thing that give you a lot of control over the amount of tokens you allocate for reasoning. Now, of course, you have to think about latency here because as you bump up the thinking tokens, you'll also bump up the latency. And also, they also made some interesting notes on very long outputs. You can actually request a detailed outline with word counts down to the paragraph level if you want. And you can ask Claude to index paragraphs to the outline and maintain specific word counts. So you actually have a lot of potential configurability and control over 
these very long generation outputs. And that's another thing that's worth experimenting with a bit. Some nice tricks they mentioned with respect to prompting, avoid predetermined instructions. Like when you're working with chat models, you often think about, think through the problem step by step, enumerate the task very explicitly. Here, think more about general instructions. Think about this problem thoroughly and in great detail, consider multiple approaches. So you're not telling it really how to think explicitly. You're giving it more general instructions in the task you want solved. Now we've seen that same kind of approach with other reasoning models. And in terms of parameters, you know, again, we talked about that budget tokens parameter being quite important. We show that here when working with the model itself. Again, you're passing in your budget tokens relative to your max tokens, where budget tokens should be less than your max tokens. And just as we showed above, here is example usage. And as mentioned, the response is gonna have a thinking block and a response block, which you can very easily segment. You can extract the thinking as well as the text from each block very easily. It is also worth noting that the thinking block contains a signature field. You might wonder what that is. And it's a cryptographic token that verifies the thinking block is generated by Claude. That's all that is. And you can see that right here. If I look at my, my response, that first element that in the thinking block is gonna be signature. And then I have my overall thinking right here. So you can see this is a very interesting and powerful new model. You can configure the thinking tokens very precisely. It has very long kind of generation capacity a state of their performance across a number of tasks, including coding. It works with tool calling, as we showed with our simple agent example. So it should be a really interesting model to experiment with, and I'm very excited to test this further, but just want to give you a quick overview. Thanks, and feel free to leave any comments below.